Wow, he didn't kill her. Wow. Jesus. I'm just saying. And the, she did, huh? I heard that he name. did, huh? He did. Yeah. He outlived her. No, he died. She got the money. Oh, uh, yeah. She I got bet the money. she was in, bat, in court battle with the family for mm-hmm. a while. Yep, yep, yep. Mm-hmm. And then she got and pregnant then, by somebody else. And then, yep. Why do I know this much about this book? Because it was all over the news when it <laughs> yeah, happened. It's, just, it's useless space in my brain yeah. being occupied. That's right the now. one from uh, Naked Gun, right? Oh, Anna Nicole Smith. Anna Nicole Smith. She probably was in one of those. Yeah, I think she was. She's a Playboy who's, bunny. Who's the Tommy Lee Jones girl? That's Pamela Anderson. Pamela Anderson. Mm-hmm. They have a movie about them, right? It's a I just saw character. that. I saw the pre. I don't... Remember back in the day when the internet was just like first starting? They was like the top porn, like reveal video. Them too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were like the big, the yeah. big thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They weren't porn stars. No, but no. they were like they're having sex on a boat, and on you were like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Well, uh, I was like, R. Kelly's pissing on bitches. No. Nah, Pamela, she's Baywatch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Baywatch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't know. <laughs> I thought she was a porn star. Yep. Uh, either one of them were porn stars. No. Carmen Electra? Is she a nope. porn star? No. Nope. I thought she was a porn star. That was a porn star. You had big boobs. Porn star. Dolly Parton. Porn star. That was, that was Prince's boo. Who's that? Carmen Electra. Carmen Electra. Oh, yeah, yeah. And Dennis Rodman. Yep. It was married, wasn't it? Oh, I, yo! I he wore a dress. <laughs> he wear a dress. I thought you were talking about Prince and Dennis Rodman. I was like, oh no, damn! No, 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 no. <laughs> that's how it's. That's how it's on Black History. No, oh, that's God. how it's starting. Prince was the man, damn. bro. I just got this awkward ass sexual image in my mind. I can't get out now. <laughs> Fucking Prince and Dennis Rodman. It is disgusting. Oh, you don't. You don't think that, No, seriously, you don't Ew. think that he like guys. Who Prince? I, I've heard. Well, I haven't heard Prince? The stories, but the stories are like Prince. No, just be. He didn't. He was just that feminine. He was that. Dude. I would say flamboyant. Everybody, everybody was feminine at that point in time. I would say he had the long hair and the makeup and the lipstick and. Why? Because that, that was all over the place. That's what everyone's doing now. I mean, but this yeah, shit yeah. worked though. Maybe the first time he threw it out there, if it would have got bad reception and he wouldn't have became <laughs> Prince, I'd be like, yeah, maybe he's feminine. But that shit right, come worked. Out yeah. He's like, oh, women are all over me now. <laughs> Prince might be the original ew, cat. Ew, ew. Like just doing it for the gram. I believe that. <laughs> yeah. Prince might Yo, have been doing was, it for the gram. He was faking it the whole oh, time. Oh. Doing it for the yams. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's crazy how his voice as singing was high pitched. His, his voice t- though. talking voice was deep. Right. Michael's voice was very low pitched. Yeah. But his singing voice was deep. Mm-hmm. Michael who? Jackson. He had a deep singing voice? It's totally different from the... He totally like... It's oh, like, yeah. It was like aggressive. Himself. Yeah, it's more yeah. aggressive. Yeah. Yeah. Energy behind it, but that shit wasn't yeah. no, no... No, you got, you got, you got what I need. It was a totally different voice yeah. from... From the way he sound talking. Yeah, yeah. Right. And Prince right. was just like, yeah, but I'm my yeah. nigga. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah, my nigga. Yeah. All right. Yeah. How do I want to start today off... Mm. What's today? February. We didn't get no music second? last week. Second. Because mm-hmm. no, everybody didn't have headphones, so that's not fun for me. Everybody, because I had shit, I had something to go for. You had it lined up. I had it lined up, but you may, nobody. You may want to put because Alex is about to play some music. Mm. Sorry. If you want to get where Alex yeah. is going, if you want to see the vibe. You know what I mean, you want to feel Alex. Alright, so let's, let's just, I guess this is, this is where we'll stop. Oh, wait, wait, wait. A Something minute. that says Robin what? Hump and Prince. Wait a minute. 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 Oh, man. I like what's it. On, what's going on over here? I like it. What's going on over here? I like it. All I need in this world is sin. Nah. No. We're going Black History Month. Oh, shit. Oh, oh hey. hey. Good to see my man up and about, baby. I Woo. guess we're, we're all on the couch now, huh? Yes. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's all right, man. Come on home with us. Hang on. Hey. We took you guys out. That's all like. Next year. It's always next year. Undefeated next year. I mean, year. if we were squib kick, we he's, yeah, he's a 49ers fan. That's a uh, fact. <laughs> we rough week. No, we didn't get cheated. We just gave the game up. <laughs> That's a fact. <clears throat> yeah, why didn't it squib kick? But that was an amazing game. We got cheated. Playoffs, NFL playoffs have been amazing games except for the Patriots and the Bills game. No. All the other games were close. Patriot Bills. Smoked them. Ooh. The Bills smoked the Patriots in the first round. Smoked them. Yeah, and then somebody else. Nah, every other nah, game. Nah, Philadelphia got smoked. Right. By the Bucks, I think. All right, we ready. Philadelphia, they put up 50 oh, yeah, on Philadelphia, yeah, 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 yeah. some shit like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
but then everything else was with this. And I'm black, y'all. Oh. And I'm blacker than black. Yeah, and I'm black, y'all. And I'm black, y'all. Like you know. And I'm black, y'all. And I'm blacker than black. And I'm black, y'all. I'm black, 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 at night, <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Damn, I, it's fine. I just, I just did what I just Ano mentioned. I did, I did exactly I what I did. I feel like that's exactly what you <laughs> be careful. <laughs> be, be, be careful now. He jumped on black and I'm black. But what I'm really listening to is the <laughs> general Alex. Oh, he's the black man that oh, yeah. made 100%. <laughs> mm. Let's kick it off, get Yo. your attention, but don't forget about Janine. Wow. You're, you're the one that's telling people wow. you can all date
That's a great song. 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 That's a you know what I'm saying? I'm repping. Everybody here, Black History Month, Dave on Valentine's Day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 I got the lady with me and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Angela got the memo. Mm-hmm. Showing yeah. up. I'm here for Valentine's Day. Showing up. Angela got the memo with the black yeah, top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 She's repping for me. That's I'm repping for her. Yeah. Such a rebellious oh. one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> We're repping for each other right now. Cobb is always the I rebellious it. one. I love it, Cobb. I'll never forget the answer. Why would I wear a black tie? Said that. To a black tie fan. <laughs> Why are we wearing black ties? <laughs> I mean, not I black tie fan. I, I, I didn't like, okay, argue with Not if I, I have to wear black ties. I, 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 just, mean, I, I just wanted to know why. No, I had no reason either. I had no explanation for it. Yeah, so I was just like, all right, cool. I wasn't trying to become. <laughs> like, hey, if it was a toga party, <laughs> you wear a toga. <laughs> it's just what you wear. You got a party in it. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> no, yeah, well, what, what, don't tell me what to do. Deep? Yeah. What, 178 deep? Not one time. <laughs> no, not, not one time. <laughs> not, yeah, not, not one time. One. That's what I'm saying. Not, not, one not even by action. Not even, not even not by action. Nobody coming from work? Not, nope. nope. Nah. Nothing. I would expect. The most you wore was like some slacks. You, 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 yeah, you had to wear a tie and dress shirt. Bub, Bub is like halfway there with the way, because he, he's always dressing nice. So he's like the, the Bub is, Bub one. Is that, the that's most, why one, one time he came in with the... That's why when I outshined him those two times. Brooks Brothers look. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. The slacks and the, the button up with the yeah, old sweater. Yeah, 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 yeah. One time yeah, he did that. Yeah, I remember. Oh, yeah, you, you did. You those, did. That, those two yeah. times that I outshined you, I, I, I was. Yeah, yeah, I was. I was your face was full of plaster when you came home. That's probably. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm not wearing a tie. <laughs> <laughs> like, white. <laughs> yeah. White. Too. Yes, yeah, up, fellas. Doing? How we doing, man? Yeah, the Welcome to episode 178. Episode 178, going on Payne's podcast. And I got the lady here with me. Yes. The beautiful. Celestial. Yes. Angela. Hello. Bloomberg yes. Flowers. We celebrate Valentine's Day early. Early? I mean, first and foremost, Black History Month with that intro, because that was, that was super We got that shit out of the way. Quick. Yeah, yeah, that was ultra black. Bliggity black. That was ultra black. I had another intro. Just, there's a couple more weeks, in this, one, right? there's yeah. a couple more weeks in this yeah. February. There's a couple more weeks in this February. You don't have to. Yeah. Yeah. I do. I know. I have to clean this one up. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, we celebrate Tell, tell, tell me about the celebrating too. Valentine's Day because you know I'm gonna be honest with you. Valentine's Day is feeling like a Monday to me. It is a it Monday. It is on a Monday. Too. Yeah, but that, it's just feeling like a Monday. Oh, it's well, just feeling like it a regular day. If you wanna, you know, not impress anybody. Mm. Is Valentine's Day meant to be impressive? Yeah. It is. Uh, Why? It started in like the 17th century where you have to impress your lady. So that's why I'm here with Bloomback Flowers to tell you guys about flowers and the need for you to order and impress your special someone. Well, okay. down for that. that. That part makes sense to me. Flowers on Valentine's Day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If that's the measure of impressive, then your flowers are always impressive. Yes, so I, I know that me. part is going to be fire. Um, I'm more so mm-hmm. along the nostalgia of Valentine's Day that I have a, an issue with. Not the gifting. The Hallmark har- holiday. It's just a... the same way you said that they jeans up the, the the commercials for Black History Month. I feel right around now. It's just like <laughs> I had never heard of Russell Stovers until about a week ago. Yeah. <laughs> now I can't right. escape yeah. Russell Stovers. Yeah. It's everywhere. It's but everywhere. it's not. It's if you don't like it, it's not always about the guys. That's why. You know, you got to think about the women in your life. Mm. Compromise. Think about what they would that's, want that's and where it's going to get you. That's the only thing I'm thinking about. That's yeah. the only thing mm. I'm thinking about. Yeah. So there has to be a compromise, what you're saying. There's a compromise, and I'm sure there's going to be a reward for you guys in the end. Is there a Valentine's Day? When's Valentine's Day? <laughs> well, that's a whole different. I thought that was March 14th. Nah, I don't want that. Wait, what? I don't need that. It's like steak and blowjob day or something. What the fuck? We got to put that on the federal holiday. What the fuck? I got to send a text. (laughs) 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 It never happens. (laughs) So I heard. I got to send a text. (laughs) (laughs) If you want that before March, you order flowers. Order flowers. Mm, I like that. Where do I place my order of flowers? So you can go to bloombackflowers.com. 
bloom back like a perennial, mm. not bloom black, as mm. some people get confused with. But yes, it's bloom back. Mm. And we use ruffled mm. roses. We use different kind of bold, ruffly, frilly flowers. Mm. We don't use your carnations, your ba baby's breath, things you'll find and stop and shop and your girlfriend or whoever will be mad at you. Mm. Wait, wait, <laughs> wait. You think that they care? Yes. Really? Yes. Really? They care. Really? Yes. If David oh, comes Alex, home with carnations gonna, for me. You're going to get so much shit. Mm -mm. I like carnations. Mm -mm. Well, if David comes home with carnations, he is well, dumb. He's yeah, 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 dumb. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. He's a whoa, whoa, wait, wait, Wouldn't that be I'm the same thing? Though. You guys know me, so, you know. That, that's what I'm saying. He's your, your ladies, or if you like gentlemen, whatever you guys like no. out there. Or ladies like ladies, you know, whatever. Yeah, ladies yeah, like ladies. Yeah, significant yeah. other. Yeah, significant other you or your friend yes. or you want to buy him for yourself. <laughs> Can I ask you, you a question about answer, roses? You about flowers in general. Yeah. So I, I was told <laughs> that if the flowers die quicker or earlier than supposed to, and I don't know what that means, but they're saying that you didn't buy the flowers with love. <laughs> Wait, what? That's a loaded statement. I don't know. I, I just asked somebody that's yeah. connoisseur. Uh, Answer that question. Flowers. An uh, Angela. Well, I mean, I make my flowers with love and with passion, but we also process them correctly. So okay. it's a couple things. If you buy them from the market, they're probably going to die sooner because they've been, you know, on the shelf in a bunch of dark mm. places. If you buy them from a florist, mm. they won't die like that. So I just I just want to know where I can place the blame. That's all. If they do on yourself. <laughs> you can place the blame on yourself for not buy, buying. What if I buy them from a florist? Well, then you need to call that florist if they die right away. Cool. Because then checking. it's poor handling no, and processing. <laughs> no, wait, wait. So how, how long, how long, what's the difference between? Like some roses. How long do yeah, like, roses usually, if, if you water them properly, if you put them in water, how long? So I like that you guys say some roses. <laughs> yeah. The difference between bloom back and other places are these are roses, but they're okay. not something you would typically see. They have ruffles. Right. What's the difference in them um, and how long would they last? So I... I personally have my arrangements last a week and a half to two weeks. And that's that's perfectly fine, right? That's perfectly fine. Okay. That's what people say, that my flowers last longer than they've had in other okay. places. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I tend to think I buy and I care for them differently. Maybe with I love. love them more. With love. Love, that's, passion, yeah. Yeah. mostly passion, yeah. Ooh. yeah. Okay. I don't believe yeah. that shit at all. <laughs> No. <laughs> nah, There's some weak flowers born, some strong flowers hey, born. We got the right one right You don't know what you're doing. Out there. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what you're picking out there. That's what's going on. It's okay, not love. Is that what that is, <laughs> Yeah, so you don't know what's going so on. So you're saying Angela doesn't put love into her? No, no, no. no it's not Angela's what I'm buying from a whole different place. Angela's, like, put, you, Angela's putting love into us. That's like the Seven Eleven flowers to versus like yeah. going to gardens that's and places that grow these well, things. Well, that's the other thing. If you want to oh, learn how to do a flower arrangement, you can come to us as well because I teach classes. We're going to do it right before the Super Bowl that Sunday on the 13th. Right before the Super Bowl. That's that one right. Sunday's the, the yeah. Super Bowl and then yeah. Valentine's Day. So I like to say it's balance. Uh, Play with flowers in the afternoon. Do some football later on. Everyone's happy. Balance. Mm. Balance. Give and take, you know? You were talking about that mm. double date. Was talking about a double mm -hmm. Was. Mm -hmm. Is that like... Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that, means, that means we didn't finish. That means we didn't finish talking about it. Still, right, right. Still, still, right. Yeah, we still got shit to talk about. Wait a couple of those tracks. <laughs> well, man, Wait right. a couple of those tracks. A, he is club. a wise man, right? He was told he was the wisest of us all. Right? <laughs> he's smart. No, he's smart. Yeah, yeah. So so tell us, what got you into the flower biz? What, like, have you always been into flowers? Like, how, how, do, how, do we, how do we get to where we are today? Well, I was in corporate for about 10 to 15 years, but I, um, I've always been passionate about flowers. It's been my side hobby. And then the hobby got really expensive because flowers aren't cheap and I couldn't keep just giving them away. So I started it, um, worked part time, kind of like David's doing where you... Mm -mm. Dave works all time. <laughs> yeah, right. doing both ends. It's your side hustle for a little while. That's what you're doing. You're doing it on the side. So I did that would be delivering flowers at 6 a.m., jumping on a plane at 8 a.m., and finally I had enough. I said, no more corporate. Mm. That is a step. Yeah. yeah that we is... Quit. We quit. <laughs> well, no, one that for me is commendable. In a oh, 100%. Sense. I think uh, you, I, you were my honorable mention at one point because of what you did, because I always envisioned 
doing something like that. But that is a risk that I am. <laughs> yeah. I don't know that I'm afraid to do. I don't know if there's a market for cynicism. Yeah. So the risk for me is too high to to you know. But you you went with your passion, so yeah. you know. I, I, I tend to that. be a risk taker, and I respect that. Yeah. I, res- I, res- I know I know a guy who left a six figure paying job mm-hmm. and is gambling full time. Oh no 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 no. Yeah. No, he's actually Damn. really good. Oh, with poker like player. successfully? Yeah. Oh, well then, yeah. 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 But, I mean, you don't know you're going to be successful. <laughs> no, you don't know you're going to be, but it's a lot of hard work and your dedication, right. consistency, and, you know, I'm at the point where I'm at the awkward growth phase, so I figured I'd jump on here and mm-hmm. do something different to talk about what's going on with Valentine's Day, because mm-hmm. we have a lot of different, what do they call it, irons in the fire? Is mm-hmm. that what you say? <laughs> how, do you, uh, how do you market? Like, what is your website right yeah we have the uh, website bloombackflowers.com we're on social media so we have instagram we have facebook um i do a lot of collaborations i do a lot of pop-ups mm-hmm. i do a lot of classes at the shop so there's a lot of opportunity um in that realm and then we do a lot of word of mouth cold calling whoever we want to do business with that has the same or similar aesthetic because you know we're not your basic florist you know there is an art to what we do. Um, so you're not going to find $25 arrangements. I'm sorry, but I may show up you know. and be your delivery person. Yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. He's delivery guy sometimes. I yeah. may just be the guy. Mm. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're welcome. Yeah. No, he's been a huge help and supporter in all of it. And, you know, it hasn't been easy. It's been a lot of I like time said, away. I like how you said you won't find a $25 arrangement over here like that. Yeah, why, why do you I'm, like that? Jay said, "Raise the price and live I, your life." I don't like it, but I like it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it speaks to the quality no, 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 and belief of what you're doing, you're right? Yeah, yeah. Right. I mean, that's for everyday deliveries. When I do baby showers, bridal showers, or weddings, something like that, we'll make do something a bud vase. Um, right. So we're flexible yeah. for events, but for me to deliver a twenty five yeah. dollar arrangement, not it. it's, not worth, it's it. not worth it, and it's hard <laughs> to get your artistic ability across. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's where other people would have to. You'd have to go to the grocery store and get those. Flowers that are half dead. Mm. Grocery stores. Yo, shots fired. Hey, they only do it for to aesthetically appease their customers. They're not oh, doing it to make money. 100%. Grocery stores, damn you. 100%. It's so convenient, though. It got me though. to 1099. Nah, nah, it's they, convenient. They, they've, they've came through a couple yeah. times. Oh, no, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. 1099? Yeah. And the, and the, and you know what's crazy though? I go to and buy. I buy like from Whole Foods. Is like a place I will buy a mm-hmm. uh, flower. Shows, from. I buy them yeah. from shows. But I shows never. Isn't too bad. I Whole can Foods never is... buy the bouquet. Like I have to buy the individual. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Have them filled it. Now I end up spending thirty five, forty dollars anyway. Right. Yeah. But that's the look that I want. If I'm gonna go buy flowers, I'm gonna go buy flowers. Yeah. I'm not gonna mm-hmm. just be like it was the six ninety nine one. Right. Because yeah, women can tell. Oh no, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. 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 Look at it. <laughs> Nigga, you still in trouble. You're trying to pass that right. on. They're still sitting on the counter. She ain't put it in a vase right. or nothing. <laughs> She's laying on the table. Uh, yeah. Oh, you don't know. Yeah. We, 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 we texting our friends like, I got her flowers and anything. I don't even understand. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the yeah, funny shit. My buddies put their cape on quick on the text message. Like, yo, man, this bitch is ungrateful, dog. <laughs> You know what I mean? I drove well, 40 seconds sides. outside of my, yeah. my way. Yeah. <laughs> Picked up $7.99. Uh, Y'all spent $10. And she's supposed oh, to be impressed. Nah, it's true. Think I'm getting no. stinky head? No. No. <laughs> no. You she can said, sleep by thought. yourself. She said, fuck your thought, and it didn't count. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Well, so well, you put it like that. It on sounds the, on mean. The, at the midst it, of you, my breakup. thought. I'm the midst of my breakup. This is good that's knowledge. What I, that's what I did. I went to like stop a shop or some shit. This will fix it. Yeah, it'll fix it. Yeah. 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 So we see why you're saying. Yeah, yeah. 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 you did that to yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't even well, get first duct tape. Wow. First of all, you got like scotch first tape. All, first of all, <laughs> I would never know that a woman can tell the difference between between oh. a florist. Oh come on! You don't have Angela's number. 
don't know, man. They're flowers to me. Yeah. Yeah. That's the problem. Yeah. They're not just flowers to everybody. Well, they're yeah. flowers to me. It's all about the effort, too. I you mean, if you really like think you're going to impress somebody by grabbing something while you're walking Absolutely. by. It's not the thought. That's just, the way oh, was, I need to check a box. Right. The way you said that, it was like, I thought about it's just that grass check, to me. Like, like, that's what I'm saying. I thought about that check. Like, this is just wood to him. Yeah. Pieces of wood. What is this stuff? Pieces of yeah. wood. Pieces yeah. yeah. oh, piece. of wood. Used to be trees. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I, I get it. To, to, to Al's point, sometimes it's like, for some people, even that gesture is outside of their comfort zone. 100%. For mm. the rest of breathing <laughs> intelligent <laughs> world. We understand that. Especially if you're in hot water. Now's the time to kind of go broke. If you're right. in hot water. Right. Man, you know, if I, you just, I just always thought about it like, if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna do this, A, I'm not aesthetically good at it, so I'm gonna go somewhere that where they are aesthetically mm. good at it. Okay. And I'm to your point, I'm gonna pick the things that I think are probably either her favorite color, color or her favorite yep. flower or Shit. things that she would like. Yep. Cause I'm gonna invest my cause I, I gotta have something to talk shit about. I hate you. I'm not gonna go into it, Alex. I'm not gonna just pick up a fucking <laughs> flower, a, bou- a bouquet of flowers. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, that, that, that's I, no I, I want to stay in it. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I mean, I can't even imagine because I feel like he'd be a little timid on giving a girl flowers. So. Oh, you have no idea. Like, she, <laughs> Alex, Alex has laid roses. Uh, <laughs> and he's saying the girl loves flowers. I know flowers. what Al needs and to be on February 13th. Love yeah. flowers. I never... Just know I mean, it. Just if sight, any no. women that are out there and they know that you know me and I'm a florist, uh-huh. they're, they're shaking their heads. Now they know. They're shaking now their know. heads. Now you know. know Angela and you yeah. didn't even... Damn. Mm-hmm. Because I right, see them on wait, you know, people posting. Like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> not even you. You didn't even text me. And it's actually less right effort. Text me before now that I think about it, it's less effort. You pay it's a bigger budget, work. but it's less effort. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a call. Hey, and look, man. Honestly, shit went left. you're 100% right. All you do is fill out a form <laughs> online and then you get flowers delivered. You don't even have to go anywhere. Right. You're welcome. Mm. You know oh, now. I know now. Bloom, <laughs> back. I know now. Bloom back. Not to be confused oh, with and Bloom I don't like Black. That. I don't like that you guys are shaming me like you guys knew about flowers before Angela. Hell yeah, I did. Kind no, of a little bit. Fucking no, you didn't. What did you know about flowers? Bro, that shit is like the smoothest that, shit you could do. No, no, no. Because now I want you to get into it. Like, you really went. Yeah, I, right. ne- I never bought no Birkin bag. I never bought no red right. bottoms. But Ooh, I, I have pick red out- bottoms. I- you do. I, <laughs> <laughs> I, can- I can pick out a hell of a bouquet, uh, though. Uh, <laughs> that Angela, yeah. shit. Angela, calm down. All right. <laughs> All right. Like that double date getting pushed back bottom. further and further. Don't, don't make me have how, to, you know. how is it that flowers are, to me, because I'm not... Flowers, to me, were like a very... Aside from, like, writing... Flowers to me were like a very oh. easy thing because all, at some point in time you had to ask favorite color, favorite flower. Like right. that, those kind of stupid questions always happen at the beginning right. of a relationship. Okay. So or a woman says it, right? My oh, favorite flower. Favorite flower. Yeah. Or they wear it or mm. whatever. And then you have, and then this flower. And then you have, <laughs> and then you have, uh, and then that's what you use. You use the color or the pattern or what you've learned and you're like, Put that together because even if she doesn't like that, it came from what I put together, and I can exp- I can explain, explain that. that. I can explain that. <laughs> I can explain that. I can explain that. And the Yo. person behind the counter is going to be like, "You can't explain just a bunch of red roses." But the person behind the <laughs> right, unless and the, they have meaning, because the they person, are right. Do yeah, mean yeah. love, yeah. yeah. And the person behind the counter is usually going to help out too. They're going to be like, "Well, why don't you put some of this shit in, or why don't, right. you, why don't you grab some of that?" Well, when or, we say behind the counter, so now we're reverting back to this sounds like the grocery stores type, well, which shops. is fine, which oh, is wow. fine. Uh, I was talking about <laughs> check the floors has a counter or Whole Foods at the at okay. The check the floors has a counter. Like, do they? Yeah. yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I think yeah. I'm just thinking more about myself and uh, Samir, another place that is my idol. But I like the way you had said it with flowers, because that's something that we actually um, pride ourselves in, is we tell a story through flowers. So we do take the essence of maybe your colors or like somebody called me today and they were like, I'm just going to give you adjectives. And if you could make an arrangement using these adjectives. Okay. So it was cheerful. It was colorful, you know, different things, but really, you know, that's what I do very well is I take 
those small pieces, and especially for your weddings, your baby showers, your funerals, and we really do tell a story through that. And that's what I'm very passionate about for making them come to life. That's why we use different pieces, you know, the ruffled pieces, the things with texture, things that are whimsical, because it is <clears throat> does mean a lot more than to me than flowers. Let me highlight your day and communicate for you. Mm-hmm. I know I'm a little passionate, but no, yeah. that's supposed to be good. Exactly. <laughs> be, God damn it. So how do you, oh, yeah. David? How do you get her flowers? Being that uh, she's a florist, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dropping dick on. <laughs> <laughs> I got a long stem. That's like Angela buying him a hammer. <laughs> I buy him tools. But, I yeah, do buy him tools. Yeah. He digs my holes for the perennials yeah. in the garden. I help with the, uh, yeah. uh, the yeah. tools you need for yeah. your garden. <laughs> <laughs> buy him. Yeah. Oh, I get, Take this. Babe, look, at, look at this hole nigga I got you. <laughs> you probably right. won't need it in your day to day. But well, it's, it's, almost, it's almost the thing is, is that this is what she does on a day-to-day basis and it's, and it's not that i don't want to give her flowers is that it, it almost transformed into oh i want to help you with this passion and i want to help you with this dream right and and she does it like if there's no flowers at home flowers appear at home like that's, it's a, just, that's my question like it's, would, it's you, not... would you even want flowers from dave like it, it, and then if i if, yeah, if is i is it like the person at mcdonald's who works at McDonald's? No, but she's can't very, eat McDonald's no more. Like no, 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 no. she's very, she's very good at that. Like if I, I'm sure that if I brought flowers home, she'd just be like, "I don't like them. Take them all apart and then do whatever." Yeah, you know, good <laughs> effort. Yeah, 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 this is bullshit. But let me just do whatever. First I mean, question: Where'd you get them? It, Where'd you get them from? <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, at the end of the day, if I ha- if I'm working all day on Valentine's Day and all week, that's quite an exhaustive holiday. But so I don't want to be redoing my own flowers. You know, if if. I, do, I love flowers, so if they're there, I appreciate them. If you really want to win points, you go to my favorite florist and spend 100 or $200, mm. which I'm not 100% suggesting. Oh, that's not 100%. What? Nah, 100%. She's very high-end, so she's um, you know a different uh, caliber than I am. She's 20 years experience. I have about four or five, so there's just a difference <laughs> in there. But that would be very impressive. 100 to 200 Like, Is that a, a specific amount of flowers, or is that like just... That's just how her business operates. You know, wow. this is a person that only does wow. weddings for ten thousand well, dollars. So two hundred dollars, yeah. I'm gonna have a lot of adjectives. Yeah, but that's what they expect, and that's yeah. what the gentleman I'm have said. A long list. Yeah, no, he know. was he wanted a hundred and twenty five dollar arrangement that we're going to be delivering on Friday. So I have the adjectives, and I am thrilled mm. to design to them. To be Speak quite for honest, me. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Two hundred dollars. I might need Audrey, dog. <laughs> Yeah, two hundred is a lot. That That is maybe once my mother, um, my mother for Mother's Day for my mother. She's a huge uh, Birds of Paradise fan, and just can't find them in New England like that. So I had to like get them shipped from I think Hawaii at the time. Oh wow. wow. Um, and it was a lot of them. That yeah. one might have ran me $175, yeah. $179. Yeah, there's a time and a place. It's not like you can do that all the time. Right. Although I get people, they order flowers for some women and they do very large arrangements. And then we get there and they're like, who's this from? And we tell them, they're like, Ugh, again? I'm like, I'll take the flowers. Damn. I'll take them. I can't even tell you how many times we see that. Uh, they're like, ah. Uh, oh. David again. <laughs> Yeah. See, now, now I'm going back. To, I'm going back to out shit now. I'm, I'm going back to the gas station. I don't know their backstory, so maybe he's a jerk. Well, that's gonna you make know, me go know. to the guy that's on the side of the road the day of Valentine's mm-hmm. Day with his van mm-hmm. and his table set up with the teddy bear yep. and the flowers. Hey, you guys do what you want. For Eleven fifty. Nah, 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 or you can nah, come nah, to nah, Bloom nah, back nah, and really make place, someone smile. Place. Placing my order as soon as we retire here tonight. <laughs> Get mine in. So even though, <laughs> still, still just Monday. Well, that's Monday. the other thing. So even if you want to have more of uh, an experience, like I said, so not only do we have flowers you can order, we have the class that I'm hosting that you can sign up on bloombackflowers.com, as well as I'm doing partaking in a sip and shop at Brass Monkey um, on Saturday the 12th from 12 to 4. So we'll have a DJ there. Damn. We'll have 10 Damn. female vendors there. So we'll have candles. We'll have have body scrubs. I'll be having plants uh, and flowers. Scent. What is it? Diddy scent. 
What's that oh, one? It's instead of 50 cent, I call it titty cent. Uh, the candle oh, the boobs. Gretchen. Oh, Gretchen. Jaded cent. Candle, yes. 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 Jaded yes. Candle is actually the one who invited yep. me. Her and then Juicy Markets PVD is hosting it. So, you know, we try to shake things up and, and have things for all different individuals. Talk to yes. yeah. shit, baby. That's mm. dope. So it's Saturday at <clears throat> Brass for Sipping yeah. Shop. Sunday, workshop yes. in the afternoon. Where's the workshop? Yeah. Workshop is at my flower shop, which is in Wayland Square in Providence. Okay. And it is BYOB, which is amazing because you come, you bring your booze, and then you leave with, you know, maybe a nice buzz and some beautiful flowers what that you created. That? That's at one o'clock. Right. Should be back by then. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, that's another <laughs> option if you don't want to order flowers, have them order an experience and have them come and hang out. When's the cutoff before? Uh... Um, orders for Valentine's Day. So I let orders go live until we're at capacity, which last year we were at capacity probably about five days before Valentine's right, so Day, nice. which, you know, I feel yeah. bad saying no, but there's only so much I can do. So, right. you know, you try you to have it. different options and you just supply and demand, yeah. supply and demand. So when you were speaking about Bloomback, I kept hearing you say we, and I've always thought that it was just you. Yeah, who, I was saying that it is just me. I just, I like, I do have two other women working with me though. Um, you know, they've been amazing. So I, I'm just used to saying we, you know, I do most of the heavy lifting, but I do have a support team, you know, David, so. um, until recently he's been there at the drop of a dime, you know, and these two ladies, Sky and Sheila, they've been, they've been tremendous this past year. Um, unfortunately, I lose one Sky. She's a senior at PC and she has her own business and is going back to Texas. But um, you can't do it all, you know, and I love bringing up other people with me, including businesses. So that's the we. Okay. Yeah. I, Sky. I can't it's, take it's, all the credit. It's kind of like something like what Alex says, I, he means we. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's exactly, exactly what it is. Like that. Like that. My, yeah. I. I don't know. They, I feel, I don't know, just stingy, just oh, saying okay. I, I, I. I like that. I you know, like that. that's it's a team. Alice it's, doesn't feel stingy saying. No, no, no. It's interchangeable. That's why. They, oh, okay. I, it's interchangeable. I, I, I always interchangeable. So when I say I, it's we. Okay. That's, that's all I mean. Well, Alex definitely means mean exactly, exactly not what Andrew <laughs> Yeah, I didn't get that from his facial no, expressions no. at all. No, no. Yeah, yeah. You know, it might be good business practice, Alex, to say we. I do say we. It's I, sometimes. <laughs> when, when I speak of the podcast, it's always we. It's just mm. sometimes I, I is the first thing that comes out. Mm. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's we. we. It's we when we get beef from other people. Then it's we. It's like <laughs> us. <laughs> we are getting attacked. <laughs> well, this is him barking out orders. I said, oh my God. ask me, he said, when did you submit your yeah, permission slip uh, to come late? <laughs> what? I'm just, I'm just playing the role. I'm just I love it. Role. Just playing the role. Mm. Just playing the role. Somebody What's got to hold people accountable, right? Yeah. What's the role? Kim Jong Un. King Jong Un. <laughs> so, the North Supreme Korean one. dictatorship. Dictatorship is the role. The Supreme okay. One. Okay. I'm a supervisor. Right. I don't know what I supervise, but I'll take them the too. Oh, I do. Yeah. I thought Reem was not in part of my supervision. Well, he's he's a star, so, but okay. I'm not. Yeah. You got to keep him in check. <laughs> you got to keep him in check. When they say star, they're like referring gotta, to like the Bobby Brown check. effect. Like, yeah, <laughs> I, it could be my prerogative, or it could be side job. Right. We don't. We don't know. Well, wait, we, we, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Goes either way. No comment. <laughs> so we do. This Shout out to you, man. No Shout out to you. Boombackflowers.com. Congratulations. Thank yeah. you. I learned a lot about flowers just now. like it. Yeah. What'd you learn? <clears throat> that, uh, to Hopefully we'd order them from. Yeah. 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 That's, yeah. that's what I learned. That's what I learned. That's what I learned. Send your but, I, but I should have already knew that. I just, you know, I just don't think that way. Send your adjectives. Send your adjectives. You got it. That is kind of dope. Or be more creative. Send something else. No, no. Adjectives. You like adjectives. I'll start there for All right. All right. Yeah. Send your adjectives. Yeah. When you say send adjectives, right, these are the things that you want the person to feel when they see the flowers. Yes. All right. Okay. Not a message you're sending them. Oh, wow. 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 Oh, wow. Wow. Imagine the message only adjectives. Right. Yeah. No. But, I don't wow. know. Like, if it's all long stems, she should know, you know. Oh, my God. Right, 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 right. No, no. <laughs> Nah, I got uh, uh, yeah, no, like, like, uh, order denied. <laughs> yeah. We get some weird requests. We do. Some people um in, in the florist community that I'm part of, they've had requests of 
having dead flowers be sent no. <laughs> to wow. say an wow. X or something. Now that's petty. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I wouldn't say wow. it, but I actually really enjoy like you said, it's only two weeks for the lifespan of your flowers, but your flowers last months in my house because <laughs> they I can. let them dry and die. And yeah, so chill. like the lysianthus here and, you know, the roses, those are, are very sustainable. The tulip will go out in about a week or so. And tulips mm-hmm. are the only flower that actually continue to grow um, after they're cut. So mm-hmm. they're pretty interesting. So I shouldn't throw it out. I should cut it where it dies. Oh, what? Uh, I thought it would grow, <laughs> grow back. Uh, it like a new limb. You're going to replant it? No, nah, I... You nah. could. Can you? If you know how to propagate, yeah. Look at that word. Propagate. Forget about uh, it. Yeah. 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 As soon as you heard that word, you were like, never know how to say I ain't been on probation in months. So like, what? <laughs> Nobody probate. Know. Pomegranate? Like, <laughs> no, no, no. Prop- propagate. What, is that? what Prop- does that mean? You can self-start with a stem. Only with stems? Is that where it applies? I'm not an expert at that. I've heard that you can do that through other people that grow other things. Okay. Um, mm, now <laughs> we're getting somewhere. And, yeah. Now we're getting somewhere. And they said you know that they could propagate. how much love you need to propagate, though? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. You need a lot of love to propagate. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you said that you were in this this space now where it's like the expansion, but now we're talking about this medical marijuana field. Uh, can you use your skills to somewhat branch out into a different industry? Do you have any desire to, or is it about the adjectives and the beauty of flowers? It's about the adjectives and the beauty of flowers. All right, Kaba, yeah. call me. <laughs> <laughs> you got the tools already, right? <laughs> we can build the shed the We can build the shed in the back. No, I get it, though, but are the same skills applicable? Uh, that's a whole nother realm on growing, sustaining. Yeah, that's, not, right. that's out of my wheelhouse. I just remember what we did in the backyard at my place. And I was like, that's a oh. garden. Right. Yes. That's, yes. that's what I assumed it was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I thought it was. Yeah, yeah, and it hit me with some everything seed and some hard. water, like, yeah. yeah that's out of my wheelhouse. Let that I don't know. So, because now, now I've been not thinking about this when you Probably said that. No, no, not probably. can't get it out. But you said that you can. Um, how did you say it? Like, you can somebody can sense what those flowers are supposed to be by how how you organize them, how they're supposed. To. So, are you telling me that I can, if you, if I said, make me a, a bouquet or whatever for a funeral, and they all, and at the same time, make me one for a wedding? I can't tell the difference. I be, I would be able to tell the difference. Yes, yes, absolutely. Like yesterday, I had one go out. Uh, the person let me know that. The sympathy piece was for somebody who was like an angel on the earth. So I made the piece very angelic. And then I actually also put an angel cherub in the arrangement um, to symbolize symbolize, that. Symbolize that. Sorry about that. Propagate the flowers. So, yeah, you can absolutely tell the difference between funeral and uh, wedding. Interesting. Yeah. See? Yeah. The arrangements look different, too, right? There's like shapes to it every funeral i go to i know those are funeral flowers mm-hmm. how how do you well know? that's this the difference too so funeral flowers are is, very typical standard right. so when you this look at why, my funeral pieces they are very different this is why i just go see. to stop and shop and just get some red roses because i can't tell the difference i wouldn't and, go to nobody's funeral with red you. roses <laughs> <I wouldn't know. laughs> Uh, but you have to understand that I don't think that other people notice the difference well, he, as well. well. He's death prepped anyway, so no, that too. But you can't be so selfish. It's not being selfish. Think outside of your head. It's not yeah. being selfish. <laughs> I don't think it's being selfish. I'm just saying. I'm just being Alex. I'm kidding. Right. <laughs> yeah, there you go. It's being me. No wrong mm. being you. Is it, no. I, Wasn't that one of the other songs on CB4X? At the end, I'm black, y'all. I'm black. Who was the Bohemian dude? No, that was that was it. Nah, they all three of them had different songs though. All three of them had different. I forget what that song was. Oh, I feel like it was "I'm Being Me." Ah, I, I forget whatever. That song. Never mind. I'll try to reference something <clears throat> later. But uh, yeah, now it's definitely a difference between funeral flowers and wedding flowers, and definitely a difference between those and uh, occasional flowers because the motherfuckers is way more expensive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, eyes light up. I mean, it sounds like a fucked up thing, but it's not. But like a funeral order should make you feel bad for the person, but at the same time, it's like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> to be quite honest, yes. for me, I call money. it the final celebration of life. So for me, actually, okay. funerals, I'm very, uh, I'll use the same word again, passionate about, mm-hmm. uh, you know, weddings are great and you 
change somebody's life. I mean, nowadays people get married more than once, but with funerals, I really feel like it gives you an opportunity to celebrate the life. Yep. You know, I can't okay. bring that person back to life, but I can make memories last on right, top right, of the right. casket. So that's something that I, I really, really do enjoy designing. And I don't mean that in a morbid or a jerk no, because sense. You, you, no. see, you see people at funerals and they look at the floral arrangement and they're like, and they find happiness. They're like, they're like that was beautiful. Yep, right? they find and, happiness, they find comfort, they find, you know, that that peace of them still maybe being here and being honored. That you was know, a beautiful can... thing you just said, because, like, I think about me, like, you said, I'll get it out of his head, but me in my head. If I start, like, a funeral home, it's not because it's the last Did you just say you're going to start one? No, no, but I'm saying if I were uh -huh. to do it, mm -hmm. uh, it wouldn't be because it's the last celebration. I really want to be a part of sending someone home and consoling their family. I'm just sitting there thinking, like, people die every day. This is good business. I get the upcharge. Well, that's the <laughs> yeah. other thing. I'm, I'm capitalist it, about it. When, we're in, when I'm in my wholesale shop, you know, we do have that banter of, like, oh, I'm going to be late for the flowers. So what's the big deal? They're dead. You know what right. I mean? So there is that joking, that banter, and you know, because people will be like, oh, do you have a slow season? I'm like, well, people are dying every day. So no, not really, right. but you know, so there is that piece but to it too. You have the too, passion but... aspect to it too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've created a whole soccer ball out of flowers for somebody mm. as a tribute. So, hmm. you know, that's the other hmm. realm of it that I can create actual objects to help you symbolize. See, that's another thing that I think you might have like glazed over a little bit with the start of your journey it is there's an artistic talent that you have. That a lot of people who do appreciate flowers, maybe as much as you do, mm. will still not have the artistic ability yeah. right. to actually put what they think they see together, ball. right? Yeah. Mm. yeah. What's pretty amazing, though, is how beautiful everyone's arrangements come out at the classes, at the DIY classes. Because mm -hmm. you'll have people that are, you know, very type A or very like, I can't do this. This isn't going to happen. And then to see them, how happy they are that they created that, yep. you know, that makes me happy. Because when you walk into my shop, I don't know what you have going on in your life. I don't know, you know, the stresses you have and all of that. So I want you to come in and just be. Right. Forget about all that for a little bit Pop and that just cork. be. Pop that cork or, you know, people bring hard alcohol, whatever they want. Mm -hmm. You know, and a lot of times I do have little goodies for people too. So that's that's a piece of me wanting to give back. And that's why the name is Bloom Back too. Bloom Back, Give Back, Gift Back, Be Back. Yeah. And it's almost like guiding. So it's almost like sipping paint, right? Like people go into those. Oh, I heard about what happens at those. And just dropped a bar just now. Give back, give back, bring back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that, you know, I tried to let it slide. It's like they go bar. to those, like I can't. I'm not an artist. I can't draw. I can't paint. Mm. But, but they, it's about they do come out of it like, oh, I did that. Yeah, right. And that's my yeah. expression, and yeah. like, that came out through it. And so I can assume I don't know anything about flowers. How would I put this together and make it something that? Well, some women, uh, you know, have said exactly what Alex has said, you know, and yeah, even people crazy. on my team, they're like, oh, my God, my mom went to the grocery store and bought the flowers and she just cut the bottom and put it in the vase. And so, you know, that's what the classes are there to teach you so that you can still buy them from grocery stores. You don't have to spend 50, 60 dollars every time, but how you can create, you know, something different with those pieces. So, I've been to one of those classes, by the way. Yes, he has. And he criticized. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I like yeah, the yeah. 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 This is whack. This is whack. This is This is John Blaze. Yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, this is whack. This is the bomber here. Oh my so, god. So if if. If I don't know anything about flowers, how are you? How am I going to this class? And how, like, how do? How, what are you basing the skills off of different people off of? Like, is there like a template? I literally walk you through step by step myself or um, Sheila will run the classes and I call it it's a flower recipe. Um, so we'll have about seven to nine ingredients, different types of flowers, and I walk you through how to prep the vase and then we go flower by flower and I teach you about each flower, how to use it, how to sustain it, make it last longer. And then, you know, they'll ask me where should I put it, things like that. But I really try to make sure that they're creating it. So we literally go step by step. Nice. Get an education, bro. Edumacation. Get an edumacation. Get you up out of them 7 Elevens, dog. Yeah. <laughs> Stop shop. Stop shop. Do you not have on. a favorite? Do you have a favorite bouquet? Do you or call flower? them bouquets? Like the arrangement. Sorry, the arrangement. Do you have a favorite arrangement that you like to put together? Or? Um, I tend to. I mean, 
the girl Sky always makes fun of me because I'm always doing this in the shop. I like <laughs> my arrangements to have, you know, as you can see here, the kind of the texture. It's not all stiff and stuck. There's mm. elegance to it. There's, um, you know, I like to design like my hair. Okay. It's not going to be tight. It's not going to be, you know, this this round ball. There's going to be volume, texture, and whimsical. Or as somebody asked me to make arrangement earlier today, fairy like. Okay. <laughs> I feel bad for whoever dates me because I definitely didn't see anything but flowers there. No, so you, you mean I don't see anything but flowers there. So you'll have different pieces. This is why I use this here because now you have these different elements going on. There's so many different textures. If you have a standard rose, then you're just these are just straight up, which is fine. But even this, this is a Dutch tulip, so these are going to be larger than your basic tulips. Um, these are lisianthus. This is something that you know you don't you're never going to see in a in a market. Um, but that's just the different pieces, and this is almost I I don't even know the name of this guy, but I'm just obsessed with it because it's so. <laughs> so different and unique you can just use it pop it in it's called an accent flower yeah. a lot to it alex flowers. there's a lot to it mm. Mm. you gotta take one of those classes yeah. and, then, and then you get you to there. take the bouquet that you make or the arrangement that you make and give it to that woman you gave him seven dollars <laughs> right. 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 who knows right. Right. who knows right. bro you Hello. might you might bloom back right you might bloom back sometimes you have to bloom back to propel forward Alex I see what you did there yeah. I see what you did there yeah. I get it got it yeah. that's why I chose the name because it's a lot more fun than just uh, prettyflowers.com prettyflowers or something com. you know you can do a lot there's bloom a lot of meaning to back, it Alex bloom you don't have to yell at me I heard back. you I heard you. All right, cool. I heard you. Mm -hmm. Just for next time. All right. I got, I got it. I got it. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning. I don't know. It might be for the she that we don't know the name of. Mm. Who, who, who put you on to Janine? Isn't that her name? Janine? The, the artist? The, yeah, the who artist put you on to that? Doesn't matter. Mm, that person doesn't matter. And that's not what I said. Oh, <laughs> wow. wow. That's not what I said. Oh, you acting different. <laughs> that's not what I said. I'm trying to, I'm trying to clarify things. The audience this might have thought you mm. meant she doesn't matter. No, I, no well, I'm glad you clarified She's that. She's definitely listening. That's not what I meant. She matters. That's, I'm not going to say that either. Right, oh. Oh. Wow, oh, man. <laughs> what happened to ALA? <laughs> all right. uh, all lives this matter. This is not going to be a good episode for Alex. <laughs> <laughs> this is not going to be a good episode. Wow. Yo, pocket down. flowers, they don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nothing matters. <laughs> nothing matters. No, that's not what I'm saying. So you're what are my, you saying? Just twisting my words. All right? I'm no, just, I'm, I'm actually just, stating what you said. Well, this is not about me. This is not about that. It's not about that. It's not about, Since about me. Since when? This is episode. <laughs> it's about, about me. It's about me. I'm it, sorry. That, it's about I can't we. wait for two Mondays from now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Me too. It's about, it's about we. It's about we. Oh. And it's not, it's not about we. It's about bloom back flowers. Okay. So Sorry. let me let me let me get back to that. Yeah, yeah, question. go back. Uh, <laughs> go back that way. Go back that way. <laughs> what was uh, what was your what was your biggest job? My biggest job? Oh boy, we had twenty something weddings last year. Oh. Um twenty something. And so when I say so you twenty something, uh, yeah. people was getting off of that COVID shit. Weddings, yeah. those yeah. weddings were of, of specific size and amount and things like that. Yeah, so I mean yeah, there were a lot because we took on um, smaller weddings. You know, I wanted to help people that were experiencing the setbacks from COVID. So I took on the smaller weddings and then we Aww. had, you Check know. Check you out with the yeah. COVID relief. Yeah. Boom <laughs> 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 back PPP. Boom back PPP. Hey, I delivered DIY COVID relief kits um, mm. when it first started and it got me um, a couple of awards and in magazines. You That's know. what's up. Very That's fortunate right. to be in several magazines right. throughout Rhode Island. I do yeah. remember that. Yeah. Congratulations. Excellent. Yeah, magazines on TV. We're trying. We're trying. Now podcasts is the first Yo, podcast. Back, back to the $70,000 flower job, though. What happened with that wedding last year? 70000 I don't know. I'm just wishful thinking. I hope the number was <laughs> <laughs> saying, What was yeah, the had, biggest? What's the, the wildest number? Well, how... Without disclosing yeah, the finances, because yeah. IRS is watching right now. Um, <laughs> I'm doing my taxes right now. How, <laughs> so painful. How, how expensive do you think, like, and let's think about a wedding of 150 people, and I wanted to spend top dollar on my floral arrangement. Does it matter on the space? Like the venue, right? I'm assuming it matters, right? The venue size? <clears throat> what matters most is the number of tables you have okay. for your guests and your bridal party. 
Those are the two biggest things. And if you want an arch. So now that I'm thinking about it, the biggest piece I've done is a $1,000 uh, full wedding arch for Newport, which yeah. actually, you know, you have to hand build those, which David did help me transport and get up there and whatnot. And it lasted for so long that that wedding venue How used it, it for another there? wedding. Wow. This is before I, the truck. Uh, I rented a truck. Oh, I rented okay. I a say, big yeah, box just, truck yeah. from Christie's. You put half in your car, you put half, put half in I do money. do that as well. Jeez. Yeah, I mean, right now I, I use either a couple of vehicles or we do rent large trucks. See, Angela driving like this, she's holding it. Yeah. Uh, we do, I do that as well. <laughs> I, I do that, that as that. well. With, with the <laughs> AC on. With the oh, AC on. right. Yes. So in the winter, oh. you can't travel when you put the heat on in the car. Yo. Oh, hell yeah, no. Don't call, mm -mm. Don't, call, don't call me. I'm not trying. I can't travel. With Ooh, oh, it's cold. With the AC on. Mm -mm. It's cold. I forgot, I forgot about that. The temperature. Yeah. My it's car It's cold in the shop in Africa general. Hot. No. Winter time. No, no, no. Right. That's... See, now everything's coming back. Because when you go in the floral shop, you're like, whoa. It's kind of a little, mm -hmm. a little chilly in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one side of it is very cold because, mm -hmm. um, I mean, during the summer months. And right now, I don't have the heat on at all in that area. Okay. Yeah, but don't flowers grow in the summertime? Like, no, I mean, they grow. but they, they do, You don't want them to mature. So you have them at a certain temperature and you don't want direct sunlight. So, cause before I sell them, I don't uh, want them to be maturing. I want to preserve yeah. them. Look at me, I'm yeah. learning. I'm like learning. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm learning too. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning. Got yeah. it. So who's doing your, who's doing your, uh, your flowers for your wedding? Oh, that's uh, interesting. Like, are you are you florist bougie right now? Like, are you looking down? Mm, not that mm. one. Mm. Yeah. Mm, oh, no, yeah. Not I them. mean, I don't mean to. I, I try to be welcoming of everybody's work, but there's a lot of work that I'm no. I just never no, do. I would never have. It's your day. Like, you don't want... Yeah. You, like... You'd be surprised, though. Some people that are like, oh, I want 2000 this for $2,000, and it's really like an $8,000 job. So I say no to a lot of things because I'm not that budget florist, and right. I'm okay with that. But, I mean, for my own wedding, I, I'm carrying so much stuff every day throughout the day. I really don't want to carry my own flowers. I think I'll be wearing them somewhat. How? Check you out. I do wearables. Yeah, we have a mannequin in the shop that uh, we keep dressing with different things. Oh, different get, flowers. We get varsity jackets? <laughs> hey. I can make the whatever you need. Varsity jacket? Yeah. All you need is a little chicken wire and moss. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, the jacket like ain't going to live but the, two the weeks, though. <laughs> I could see you being part of a fashion show and somebody calling you. We want a nice. You know. I'm trying to get into fashion shows. So where I really want to be is in the fashion show realm, which they're doing a micro event in June. So I tap at people. Um, you know, it's the bridal showers, the corporate events. You know, weddings are amazing. Um, but I really want to expand my portfolio. Um, you know, we were fortunate to be known as RI Monthly's best wedding uh, florist last year. So it's gotten us a lot of accolades. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, we work hard. We, I, whoever you want to say. <laughs> keep, keep we. I like we. Mm. I like we. we. I like we. Yeah, I couldn't I do like it all too. by myself, that's for sure. Alex, we all like we. Yeah, of course yeah. we do. Mm -hmm. Speak French now. <laughs> so how much work goes in? Because I, I keep hearing you say there's a lot of work. And I'm, you know, me getting into my head again. It's like, oh, how much work are you? How hard is it to really do this? Can you speak to that? So... It's a, a touchy subject, so. <laughs> but in a, in the, I understand that because a lot of people think, you know, oh, you're no, just, just a, a pretty florist, blah blah blah. Just you know, stuff in the base. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot yeah. more to that. And coming from, you know, pretty much a director of information technology to being a florist, people see you differently too, and that's fine. You know, they don't need to know my experience and background, but. With flowers, there's a lot of physical work. There's a lot of, you know, when you're doing a bridal bouquet, there's a lot of focusing. Um, you know, it's a lot of physical work that I didn't even realize was going to be involved in carrying things up, down, in, out. You know, I had to call him to carry this thing. It was like 100 pounds, something for a wedding that I had done. You got that up? Just got that up. My name. Yeah, 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 we got that. Up. Oh, ain't nothing about forty-two wood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of aspects that go into it. I just think about the time when I pulled up. And you, uh, what was it? It was. Uh, it's not a pop-up shop. It's not a festival. It's, it's a farmers market or something like that down in Situate. You would do. Oh, near my house. Yeah, but you were back in the car though, <laughs> and the amount of 
space that was not available in yeah. your car from just packing yeah. for just that one trip down there. Um, so I can pop ups are a lot of work. Right. That's a lot of work because then you have to Tense. pack your car the night before, unpack mm -hmm. it the morning of, repack it, unpack it. You know, there's why that's why we can't do as many pop ups as we were before because we have so many events now and they're just they're a lot of work. Mm -hmm. And flowers are perishable, so if people don't buy them and the pop-up isn't communicated well enough, you know, my stuff dies. You know, I, I have to be able to resell it and reuse it. So it's tough. Are you able to write that off? Yeah, you can write it off. I actually do. <laughs> I, do um, I have very little waste with my flowers because I'll either give back um, to local shops as like a, hey, you know, this is Angela. I just want you to enjoy them instead of them going bad in my shop. Or we're looking into avenues of donating um, because we do donate a portion of proceeds from our classes that we host mm. to different organizations. So, right. No, I love it. Yeah, there's different options there. I don't want to ever just throw away flowers. No, that's I, not, I that. There's too many elders and other people that could really use love them. It. And that's what I was thinking too, like nursing homes, hospitals, things like that. Where Absolutely. Where a bouquet just coming in for no reason um, yeah. would be... Back yeah, that also back takes time too. So it's you don't always have time to be everywhere. But oh, hundred percent. Mm. I don't agree. I know you grinding. I know you grinding. <laughs> I know. I, I was at that point. I was like, yo, what about this gardening thing? You, you can be really good at that. You like, nah, I ain't fucking with that though. <laughs> no, that's too much. You can't wear every hat. You can't. Yeah, I'll help friends with gardening, but that's beyond it. Yeah, dude. I mean, you definitely gave me the, the pointers and the tips. And digging that trench was serious, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Somebody might assume gonna, that because gonna... you're a florist, you'd be a gardener. Well, I, they do. Yeah. Like, Jay McLaughlin asked me to do the front of their shop in Wayland Square, which I did do for them. I did a, a perennial garden. But then you do have people ask. And, you know, Reem, you've asked me if we're friends. And, nope, I, I'm not a landscaper. Landscaper okay. is a whole different art. Um, you know, my plants at, at the house are do very well, but it's a lot of trial and error. Yeah. Wow. So. Yeah, nah. She definitely it wasn't it. We we did do the passionate thing you do like, which is shopping at the uh what is it? What's it you called? were just as excited I as was, I was. I fucking loved that. I walked in there, I was like, it's like botanical gardens. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> Everything was beautiful in there. Oh, huh? yeah. Got my feet a little muddy, but that that was just fun and I I loved how it came together and it it's been coming back every year. Blooming back. Blooming back Look every year. That. Blooming mm, back. Look, Look how that, that goes. That. Look at that. So mm -hmm. organic, wow. too. I'm, I'm coming up on year three right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Year three is when they do the best. Yep. Mm. So in our gardens at home, a lot of things are self-propagating. Because mm. uh, <laughs> they're just reseeding. And with the um, wildlife, it helps seed it as well. well. I don't know about the wildlife. Well, the bees. <laughs> the bees. Well, the bees, the, the bees. birds. Bees. The birds bees. actually reseed a lot Squirrels. of things, too. Yeah, mm -hmm. Johnson. Yeah, I'm talking about the wildlife and probably. <laughs> the rat? Yeah, rat. Yeah. <laughs> It's an ecosystem up there. <laughs> but they coming back though. They're coming back. I gotta do my cut after the after the winter time. Yep. Two more yep. months. Yeah. It's good. I'm excited yeah. for you. Like like I said, like I said, I was really like you were really my honorable mention because of that journey that you took was like, you know what? This is what I like to do. This is what I wanna do. And to make that, it's like props to you props to you 100 percent, man because that's I, I i don't have that in me i want to have that in me but I don't, I don't have it in me no no you do have it in you but the thing that you have in you and i have it as well it's not the risk it's the fear <laughs> same well, thing fear risk, stops fear. us from most of the things it's, it's we want to do in though. life risk and fear are two different things mm -hmm. it, we can all see the risk and appreciate the risk and depending on how much fear you have you either lean towards it or shy away from it and because we're also comfortable you know, it's not like backs against the wall. Not that it was yours when you made the decision, right? Mm. Maybe not financially, but mentally, it was like one of those things where it was like, oh, man, I'm fucking corporate. Mm, no, I feel like in that time, from what I remember, it was like you just weren't feeling the corporate ground. Like it wasn't moving you. I was miserable. Yeah, I felt exactly. like there was so much more. I'm just rotating, rotating. And now I, you know, every day I do something new. It's not right. revisiting the same issue and pe trying to find people to fix the issue and all of that. Um, you know, it is something that I don't really give myself enough, um, 
I don't know, honor for or whatnot, that being 34 and quitting your corporate job is, you know, not something people do every day. But like lucrative. Yeah, we, we knew you wasn't Lucrative 40. corporate job. <laughs> we knew you wasn't 40. That was that. That was that. She's not 34, 34 now. now. Right. 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 I left like two years ago. So right before the pandemic, too. Uh, yeah, I was about to say, like, she's not 34 right now. She's no. 25 still. Still 25. Is that what we're saying? Yeah, Has the uh, pandemic affected business in any way? Absolutely. I left in November 2019 thinking I was going to be an event florist and uh, surprise. Ain't surprise. So that's where all of your resilience and your uh, being able to pivot. That's why I took to the streets and did uh, COVID relief kits because those were um, at cost. I didn't make any money on those. I did those simply to keep myself relevant and to help others. And, you know, they were 13 and $15. So I was doing those for about six to eight hours a day and then delivering them for about six to eight hours a day. I was What's in the a car COVID so, relief kit? So it's a little DIY kit. So a mini size and I would deconstruct the flowers, put them in a bundle, give you word instructions on how to create it step by step. Okay. So people were, it was really awesome, actually. People were sending them to teachers that were their friends. They were sending them to elders because it was so, you know, low cost. And then parents were actually using it as part of the curriculum. Right. You're home. They you were know, home. They needed to things to learn anyway. So, yeah, it was, it was, took off. I said to David, maybe I'll sell 20 and then 220 later I had to shut off sales. That was your name for it. It almost sounded like it was like federally funded. It was like oh no! The COVID sorry, relief I just back. I was like, "Word, <laughs> <laughs> who signed up on that? Like, did it come with a test?" No, my COVID relief kits. That's <laughs> just what I ended up calling them. All right, all right. Yeah. How's the How's the feedback that you get? Like, is there, has there been a, one that you've gotten that's like broke you down to tears? Like, oh my god, I did this for this person. Or on vice the DIY versa. kits, on or? anything, on any. Anything that you've done since you've done since you became a florist? I mean, honestly, just today I called my sister on my drive home because it's only Wednesday and it's been such a phenomenal week of people just calling and thanking me and having so many accolades and, you know, people from Citizens, which was a very difficult place. CFG? Yeah, for you to work, it was it could be very unhealthy and it was very stressful. Not but for me. <laughs> for me, I'm a different. You know, I was in a different place. I was in a different place altogether. No, fine. Is that not for me? My annual review is coming up. I can't have nobody here now. Nah, nah, you home, baby. You home. Yeah. <laughs> No, wait, I had another question on the opposite end. Have you gotten like a a one star Yelp? Have you ever had anybody come at you on some like, yeah, this is bullshit? Fortunately, not yet. No. Dang, hold that. We have <laughs> That's a pound, boom. we have um, 19 work. five star reviews on oh. Google. Yeah. Um, and I don't even really push the reviews much. So I'm very, very fortunate. People are very um, vocal about why they choose us and the difference that we make. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. You know, we we here at the uh, Growing Pains podcast are looking for uh, some kind of media person. Oh, you know, if you know anybody, send them my way. Okay. It's talking about you, but go ahead. Oh. <laughs> it's talking about you, but go ahead. It's a media what do you mean, person. media? Yeah. Social media? Yeah. Oh. Like, I, I can see that you have, like, the reach that you have, that you are gaining because of, like, because of your personality is like, it's, it's, it's out there and we don't have that here. No, she said the final celebration. I was like, man. You saying we don't have personality? Up the price on that funeral. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. You're taking that wrong. You're taking that wrong. You articulate well. <laughs> I think that's what you meant to say. Oh, thank you. That's what I meant to say. Oh, there you go. I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. Thanks, Reem. Thanks uh, for clearing that up. Yeah, I mean, I'm just trying to propagate. Propagate. Propagate on a defibrillation, yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's about to be my new oh my shit. It's propagating on a defibrillation, baby. <laughs> propagate. <laughs> We learned a new uh, word today. Man, we learned that learning, flowers man. have meaning. Yep. You can order in adjectives. Yep. Yeah. And the, um, there's yeah. a difference between f- funeral and 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 uh, wedding. And, and wedding. wedding. Yep. Don't order from stop. I mean, don't go to stop a shop. I, got no, it. I mean, it's no, no, it's no, it's no. No. So I would say recommend that. going to Whole Foods or Shores as a trade. But go to stop a shop. shop and go shop. to stop a shop for the right reasons. Like, okay. you selfish motherfucker. You know what I'm going? You know what I'm going to bring home? God damn it! I just would recommend doing. The one I didn't bouquet. Think at all about that. Yeah. Wherever you go, build. Fifteen-year-old, build, build your own. Right. Build your own. 
that's what I would say. And there are different color of roses, right? What are the meanings? Oh God, I don't know all the red meanings. love. Red I think is yellow love. is friend. Yellow is friendship or peace. White or white is peace. White is peace. Um, there's a whole purple means realm. something. Royalty usually is yep. what purple means. I should have known that crown royal. Yeah. Eh. Duh. <laughs> and some people will ask, they're like, hey, you know, I'm looking to, they know the meetings and they'll ask me for specific flowers. So I'll try to get it as close as possible. It's pretty impressive how passionate people are, how so many people are about flowers. I always wonder about that shit too. Like who came up with that? Like the same thing with the alphabet. Who said A had to be the first letter? Who said red was love? So that's again, I was reading up on it a little bit. It's um, that goes back to the 17th century. I think it was like King Charles. He just um, sat around and made decisions about it. Well, he started to actually send out flowers be- and have them. He got into the language of flowers, and that's kind of where mm. Valentine's language Day started to come about. Mm-hmm. King Charles yeah. is soft ass. Where was he on March 14th history. in the 17th century? March 14th. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Or. Oh, he's Prince. He was a man. Oh, he's Prince. Oh, he's Prince. Oh, he's Prince. Oh, he's oh, he's a, Prince. Oh, he was a man. Yeah. Oh, he went in for the games. Yeah. Had him lined up. Mm, I love it. Okay. Mm. Babe, there's something every 14th. Is that what you're telling us? Every 14th? I nah, thought it's it was not the April 14th. March 13th. March 13th is like BJ Day, I thought. Okay. BJ it's, just, it's definitely Day. not a nationally recognized no holiday. Is, yeah, don't... no women is going to be like, hey, babe, it's BJ Day. <laughs> 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 never. <laughs> Regardless of what you don't do on stink. February 14th. Don't forget the never. But, I mean, yeah, I mean, go to oh, Bloomberg. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Go to Bloomberg, back. get your flowers. I got enough meat. And order online now before the ninth. <laughs> clean up, clean up on the fourteenth. Clean up, clean up. You know saying? clean up, clean up on the fourteenth. Saying bring the flowers home, clean boom, up, boom. smell nice. What you mean bring home? I thought you were dropping them. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> saying I mean, I mean, oh, well, I mean maybe the one, maybe the one. Matter of I mean, fact, I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I got a tuxedo for you, man. You gotta wear the tie. You gotta wear the tie. Stupid. No tie, no tie. No, yeah, but now yeah, get those orders in. March fourteenth. Yeah, get those orders in. Yeah, touch it. Steak and BJ. See, steak and BJ day. I'm not lying. That's just not real, man. Right now, I I feel like we should use the rest of Black Future Month to promote BJ. (laughs) (laughs) What do y'all think about that? Yo, it's not Black History Month anymore, it's Black Future Month. Yay, said so. Is that what Kanye said? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's Black what? Black Future Month. I don't even know what that means. So instead of talking about Oh, history. The history. Right. Mm. Mm. I read something today, and it's not even about talking about the history, but what I did read today, which I was like, I loved, it said, black history didn't start with slavery. It started in paradise. So when you start to think back to like uh, okay. mm-hmm. where black people originated from, just kings and queens and, you know, was it King Antu, Antu, I can't remember. School. Right school. Right. A school system taught us black history is talking about slavery and forward. Right. Mm-hmm. So if we wanted to take black history back that far, I'm down. If not, I'm down for black future. I like okay. that. Not black future. It's coming up next. You know? <laughs> Thanks, Kanye. All right. Yo, Thanks. you going to be, you going to buy the album on February 22nd? Yeah, you going to fuck up now. You going to download it. Down the two? Down the two. Down the two. It's, Future's the producer. I don't want anything to do with that album. Oh, uh, I'm already with that time. Don't want anything to do with that. <laughs> I'm all right. I'm about to, I'm about to uh-huh. order some promethazine right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> lean right now, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah, some That's why I'm going right clean now. right now. Cleaning out. I'm done. Oh, uh, getting everything cleared out right now. And February 22nd, leaned out. Shaved uh, out. No, I'm not gonna. I can't do this. <laughs> Is there anything that we didn't ask you that you want to? I don't know. Say promote. Put out there in the universe? I don't think so. I've already talked about the language of flowers. You guys know where to order. Bloombackflowers.com. And if you have any questions, let me know. Bloombackflowers.com. Thank you for having me. Then it's that time. Bloombackflowers, everyone. Bloombackflowers.com. Check them out. Yeah. Hey, uh, honorable mention time. Yes, sir. That was quick, too. Alex already gave us our honorable mention. I did. Gave us two. Yeah, my honorable mention is Purium. Purium oh, yeah. Detox System. I'm on day two. Detox? Purium Detox? Yeah. It's a it's a whole system. It involves uh, green powdered 
veggies and amino acid pills. Sounds like way too much work. It, it is actually. It's a full schedule. Um, with very. It's not a strict diet, really. It's a clean one, though. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I'm hangry. Okay. My stomach is moving in ways that it hasn't moved. Okay. Like uh, I, I feel like I'm. I am enjoying it because I know what's going to happen. I, okay. I can feel the progress. Um, like I'm sleeping better. It's only been like two days. Like I slept better. Hmm. And don't get me wrong. Like I started cleaning my life up a little bit. I had a dream the about the somebody the, the other night. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut no, you No, off, no, no. Tell I, me because you don't dream. <laughs> <laughs> Who says I, don't I dream? remember. And I'm just trying to figure out what that, what the dream, what, what it means to dream about that person. What does it mean? What was in the dream? It doesn't matter. What? The, what? <laughs> no, all right. You don't have to tell me, you don't have to tell me who matter? the person was. What, 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 what was the dream about? Uh, it was. You had a was it dream? sexual in no, nature? No. Was no. it murderous in nature? Nope. It was. Was it gentle? Me and this person really having a good time hanging out. Oh, turn on oh, and that chill. Sounds like fruition. It's turn on and chill. Mm. Yeah, that's what. Well, the not if you know what the person is. I don't know if it was a dream as much as a person. I'm not going to remember it. Yeah, though. You might have just been remembering in your sleep. Nope, wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't remembering because I've never had anything with this person, so that's what I'm saying. You were like, dreaming about having something with this person. Oh my god, Bub! If you have to take him outside, no, five <laughs> minutes. <laughs> you no, gotta it, do it. It, 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 wasn't, it wasn't Missy. It wasn't Missy. It wasn't Missy. It wasn't Missy. Oh, it wasn't Missy. It wasn't Missy. It wasn't Missy. It wasn't Missy. <laughs> Yeah, can I, I see that. Can I see the boss? Right, no, right, I like right. it too much. Oh, no. Yeah, no. So yeah, period. Uh, detox. Period. Uh, detox. <laughs> uh, Coach Jazz, four to five wellness. Period detox. Yeah, we're two days in. Another twenty eight to go. Ooh, I'm dedicated. Days. Wow, I'm like dedicated. It. I like it. What is it? What are you doing? Um, again, it's, it's, it's a whole detox dietary plan for a month. The first ten days, like there are two meals, there are three flex meals, and then there is these pills and these green shakes that you have to take. Um, then the next 10 days, no meals, just flex meals. Then the last 10 days, it's a flex, is meal. A flex meal. Flex shape? meal is like a, like a bowl of watermelon. Do you hate or... yourself? No. For the next 10 days? No, for the first 10 days, I can get three flex meals mm. and two regular meals. And a regular meal is like couscous, grilled chicken and mm. whatever vegetable I want. Um, but then 11 to 20, there are none of them. Meal meals. Uh, it's just the flex ones, and it, it's a there's a lot on the list. You know, carrots, hummus. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! You know, we'll get through it. And then in the last ten, it goes back. But uh, the point of it is just to look at the self improvement. Again, my guys. Just your, this one's not drinking. Your want for food, the way you want it, like the salt intake, sugar right. intake. You just remove the want from your body. Yeah, so you're just retraining your palate. Exactly. It's a good thing I can fucking cook because there's only so many ways I can make grilled chicken. <laughs> but uh, I find a different way to season it. And as long as it's the natural ingredients like raw honey or real mm -hmm. garlic and things of that nature, then it's fine. But yeah, my stomach is off. I'm mad I missed your crab legs, but sorry. <sighs> Man. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah. we should have had you there, yeah, not yeah, his yeah. ass. Have oh, he didn't on, eat any? Have him sit on the couch. I was away. I ran have away for 10 he days. Took, he took... He <laughs> took... <laughs> like a fucking four year old. Like oh my like god! I don't like a <laughs> four year old. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> they weren't even looking at me when I tasted it. Kaba gave it Reem, a real shot. Reem found things he liked. Reem, he didn't like. Reem cracked the crab for him. Gave it to him. Gave it to him. <laughs> <laughs> Never again. Childish. <laughs> he's he's not in. Don't not, worry, Angie. He, you'll definitely replace it's him. Not the next childish. Time if I'm I, here. Yeah. The way you did it, though. If like, I tell you that I don't like something, <laughs> if I tell you that I don't like something, and you still and he crossed his arms uh, after you did it, I want chicken wings. I don't know where. You know, it was guys. a good time. You guys look good. You was down in your Georgia trip. You was cruising the East Coast, Savannah. Yeah. No, that's right. Savannah, yeah, yeah. and then Florida, yeah. Went on a little adventure. Good times. Yep. Mm -hmm. Who's up? Anyone uh, else? John, we'll Bloomback. That's mm. it. Bloomback, Bloomback, Bloomback. Yeah, Bloomback, Bloomback, Bloomback. Bloomback.com. Check them out. Time to get this oil. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> what'd you say? <laughs> I was making a joke. Bloomback. Everybody put your orders in right now for Angela and Angela only. <laughs> <laughs> Valentine's Day is around the corner. It is. And I it's a week and a half. And. 
because I, I know you've talked already, Angela, and I'm pretty sure that collab is going to happen soon. Uh, but I want to give a shout out to Little Sis and appreciate Reem for giving her a shout out oh, yeah. on social media. Get your candle. Trey Essentials. Yeah, Trey yeah, Essentials. Yeah. Trey Essentials. Sure. She now has, you know, Valentine's Day stuff coming out too. His, hers, ours. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Shout I like out to that. Sis. His, hers, ours. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All inclusive. I'm a fan of the crackling wood wick. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's nice. It is. That's, that's nice. That is fire. Nice. I'm not going to lie. Literally. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, mm. That's fire. Yeah, we did connect at your house, yeah. right? Yeah. Look at that. Look at you guys, Doden. Good job. It's all about collaboration. That's what Angela does. Mm. I like it. I like it. Did you, did you go? Did oh, you, you didn't go. Did Sorry. you have a honorable mention? So it's somebody I want to shout out. A movie, a book, somebody you want to shout anything out. Anything you want in the world. Anything you want somebody to pay attention to, watch, <laughs> check out, whatever. I'm um, t- reading Talking to Strangers right now with Malcolm Gladwell. That's a pretty mm. good book. Okay. Talking Definitely to puts strangers. a spin on things, digs into history a lot and the CIA and Fidel Castro and whatnot. But it's a pretty interesting concept. What are the conversations in your house like? <laughs> what do you mean? You were complimenting. I think it's mad basic, though. It's mad basic. It's mad basic. Yo, he's not talking about none of the stuff he's like. Nope. Uh, that's cr- wow. All right. You read your book. I read my book. We meet in the garden. Not in a bad way, Andrew. I just wanted, like, just the uh, brain stimulation to happen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Every like once in a while, you like know, I gotta, I gotta let shit out. Okay, you know I'm saying I'll oh, tell a story God. about some shit that I learned. Okay, and I can see Angela's eyes being like, "What in the <laughs> fuck is going on?" <laughs> we were going with he, the... he does hit me with a lot of science, and yeah. um, you know, I'm not a, a researcher by nature, and he'll dig in and he watch YouTube passionate. videos, and I'm like, "That <laughs> is way." Do you not understand what I'm saying? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> No. You're not watching the same thing I'm watching? No. God. No. I need a real alien friend. Someone who understands. I need an alien friend, bro. I can see a couple of American dad. dad. Yeah, 100% American dad. You need a real alien friend. Propagate that information. I got to propagate that. Propagate Propagate that information. Propagate that. I like it. Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought you already did, y'all. Yeah, Malcolm Gladwell. Talking with strangers. Mine's with Bubba. My supervisor. Our supervisor. See? It's oh, an, you already see, did yours. That's right. Yeah, I didn't. Oh. Yeah. Well, you're our supervisor. Not mine. Y'all supervisor. Fair enough. Yeah. See how you use my again? <laughs> <laughs> you, see right. you see that? You see that? We did it, though. Episode yeah, yeah. 178. Yeah. Angela, thank you so much. Thanks, yeah. man. Thanks, Thanks for so having me. Wanted a lot to yeah. get my order in. 100%. 100%. I appreciate it. Teaching these motherfuckers something. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta get lucky, guys. Missy's gonna gotta be get like, lucky. Missy's gonna be every flower I come in the house with. Who's this from? Mm. Uh, <laughs> people no, do nobody. wait. Nobody. This one's this is not even for you. This is for me. I like these. If kind. it's not from you, the flowers are for me. You're gonna have you're gonna have a rose and a, a candle next to your your side of the bed. Yo, you should do that though. You ever buy yourself flowers? No. Are you looking at me? Or you, who Both of y'all. Uh, I mean, but no, nah, for real. Why am I gonna do that? Yeah, bucking man. Flowers do a lot in the house. It is. Bro. It's a. You're you're right. No, I know. Just to wake lot. up just, and have don't. that, you know. I'm a candle guy though. Candles, candles yeah. 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 Candles are awesome. And just to, when you buy them when they're closed, and put them in the water, you know, cut them on the angle under the water, and put them in there. And <laughs> you wake up a day or two later, and they all open. You're like, oh shit, I did that. Mm. <laughs> mm. I deserve this. I deserve this moment. Come here, baby. Get a little book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, treat yourself, oh, fellas. Dear. I'm getting a pedicure this weekend. That's what I'm doing on Saturday morning. I'm getting a pedicure. Self love. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it's go gonna be get so your flowers. That don't wait for some Asian person you working on my feet. But yeah, that's <laughs> seriously, a lot of women right, do. They Ray, come and get their flowers. Go get your flowers. Don't wait for somebody. Why to wait? Back. Go get them. Back. Mm. Why wait? Mm. I'm still you don't need an occasion. Yeah. yeah, bloom yourself back. Yeah. Bloom <laughs> yourself back. That's so weird. Propagate. 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 I love it. Yo, like, follow, comment, share. Fuck with us and bloom back as always. Peace. We out. Peace. Oh man, my stomach is moving, bro.